Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. And it's a timeless love reading. I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles at the end for initials to see if your person's initials come out. This is for anybody that's not exclusive with someone. You could be thinking about someone. You could be just recently attached to someone, started dating them. For those of you that are single, definitely for you. Um, or if you're missing someone and wondering if they're going to return, we're going to see. I'm also going to pull characteristics and messages. Divorced love. Manipulated love. And this one. All right. Let's see what else. At any time that you would like me to tune in to just your energy, you can head over to my Etsy shop. The link is at the bottom. It'll um, There's multiple readings over there. You just need to tap on the link. It'll take you over there. You can check out and see what resonates with what you're going through. Um, and some of them are on sale currently until the 31st of October. Mystery. It's like where you feel like the, you know, the walls are closing in, that, you know, things aren't working out in your favor. You're feeling like, oh. When is it going to be my time? Just beyond those walls, look how bright it gets. Spirit always has a plan. The universe always has a plan. And like I said, always a plan. For those of you missing someone or thinking of someone you could be, or just recently started dating, you might be planning a trip or you might have traveled with this person. But there is going to be romance in the connection that's coming towards you. Look at that. For some of you, it is divorce love. It could be that person that you did divorce where the fireworks went out that you could be, you know, other people, some people do divorce and still manage to make it work and get back together. I mean, go figure and no judgment, but I can never go through all that work. But there is, for some of you, you could be going through a divorce might be a change of heart for others of you. You could be lead, moving towards marriage. And for some of you, you could have been the runner. Oh, look at that. The runner and the chaser. That could be that manipulated love. All right, let's see what else comes out. We're going to do messages and then I'm going to do characteristics. I want to leave that chaser out. I'm sorry, guys. You know, just when you think you've got a big enough table, you don't. All right. The messages. Spirit from my Aries. Um, the person that's showing up in this reading. I still read our texts and think about you a lot. You make me want to be a better person. That very well could be for those of you that are single coming into a connection or might have just recently met someone. Things are moving too fast with us. Broken promises. It could be that manipulated love. Could be that runner energy also. I took the easy way out. All right, guys. If any of those resonate, and then let me get the characteristics. All right, it's here for my Aries. What is coming towards them in terms of love? Tattoos. Very curly hair. I feel like there's more than one with tattoos. 
no, only one. Very curly hair. And then Sagittarius. January. Okay. Older than you. I love a bald head. All right. Let's get into the reading, guys. energy king of cups so you're ready for a commitment you could have water in your chart or you could have somebody currently in your head that might be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but it's like you're emotionally um emotionally stable you're emotionally like you're ready you're grounded and you're ready for this connection. Could be this person lives by a beach or you live by a beach or up, you know, near water. I do feel like it's a beach though. Your person, four of wands energy. Taurus, Virgo, I mean, Taurus, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be also dealing with um, a fire sign. They might have water in their chart. Your person's also ready. For a commitment. This very well could be a divorce love or maybe a separated love filed for divorce and two people are reconsidering this. Both of you are reconsidering. Because the way it looks now, you both are ready for a connection. You're both ready for romance. And it may even go the distance and be you may marry this person for some of you. And the overall outcome is the Nine of Wands. Both of you have been through connections where, you know, you always felt like you were climbing uphill. It was an uphill battle. Maybe the runner and chaser could be um, that negative energy of being that manipulating energy. It could very well be a divorce love where the, both of you were separated and it was just constant arguing and fighting at the end. You know, always feeling like you're struggling to get to the top. You're not ready to give up, though, Aries. I mean, you're going to be very persistent and resilient. Definitely mentally there. It's like you want a connection, and you're only going to go towards what you feel desire to go towards, what you feel connected to. And you have hope in this connection. I do feel this person coming towards you. You're very... You're ready, and there is going to be progression with the Cupid's Wands at Cupid's Arrows right here. Yeah, there's somebody coming in to tell you how they feel. For those of you that it's a brand new love, I'm going to go with a fellow fire sign or water sign. They might have water in their chart, but coming to let you know how they feel. Yeah, I feel like it's coming in quickly. Quickly, I saw that chariot twice. All right. Seven of Wands. You've had to stand your ground in terms of love, especially if it was manipulated love. You've had to stand your ground. I do feel that you want to put a fight in. You will put the fight in with something that, like I said, that you feel drawn to, you feel connected to. You'll put that effort in. And you've definitely planted the seeds and have done the work throughout your journey. 
For those of you that are thinking about someone, and it could be somebody that you're missing, you've planted the seeds. There's going to be growth here. There's going to be growth in this connection. For those of you that are single, you've done the work. You've been through experiences, you know, along your journey up until this point, and there's going to be growth of some sort with someone, and it's going to be stable. It's the four of wands. It's like the happy home life. Both of you celebrating this union. But for some of you, I definitely feel like you've gone silent with this person. And it very well could have been that they, you wanted more than they were offering. Some of you, I, I see someone like sitting on a bed thinking about you. And it's like they're going through their phone. They're looking at the how good it was when you both first met. Replaying voicemails that you left this person. Yeah, there was sadness here. For those of you with someone brand new, they've definitely been through some sadness and some struggles, but they're still going to take that leap of faith and open up to you. Come on, baby. Sorry, guys. I had to let my puppy in. Okay. Lay down. Did you eat your dinners? Yeah. For those of you that, like I said, that are single, it's like your, per your person's been through some struggles and some pain. But they're that wounded warrior energy and they're rising up. They are going to take a leap of faith because they want to find their wish fulfillment. Remember, I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles at the end. All right, let's get a few more messages or a few more scenarios. My ego is fragile to criticism and rejection. I've created walls to protect myself. I feel like that's a little bit different than manipulated love. Please send me energetic support. Use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need your help. For those of you that are feeling someone, it could be a soulmate connection or you, you know, you dated someone and spent some time and now you like can't get them out of your head. They feel that energy too. And for you, those of you that this is resonating, I do feel they're asking for you. Well, they're asking for you to send them healing energy, positive energy. I've hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was rejecting, I was reacting in fear. We incarnated together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodlines. Because of you, I'm starting to see what is really important in life. I do. I really feel like you gave them the best of you. And now you're triggering them to be a better person. I think you're beautiful inside and out. And I see the light that radiates from your soul. See, that's what I mean. You were somebody completely different than anything that they've been with. It could still be that divorce, you know, that separated love, that divorce love. For those of you that are they're becoming a better person, when they return, I really feel like that is that mystery. They get down on one knee and propose. All right. We have, wow. Right off the bat, we have four eyes. Did you hear me just shuffle these? Crazy. All right. R. F. I think I have every eye in the deck. I mean, every eye in the package. U, A, N, blank, O, X, D, T, E, V, Oh, oh, another O. And T, okay. 
So I see tent for those of you that might have gone camping with someone. I see tent. I see Finn. Very Irish name. Um, Den for maybe Dennis. Tex could even be a nickname. I see Dave, D A V E, Don for maybe Donna or Donald. But yeah, just look at these, even if you have to pause it, R, T, X, F, D, N, V, and then the empty Scrabble tile, and then there's A, E, I, O, U. There's actually every E vowel here. So if that stands out, if it's a nickname, if it's your person's initials and your initials, if your initials are here, the other initials could be the person coming towards you. Always let me know how it resonates. For, for some of you, I really believe it's someone who is distraught over an ending and they may very well show up and ask you to marry them. Others, I do feel like they miss the connection that you had with them, the love that you gave them, and now they're becoming a better person. And for those of you that are single, this person coming towards you is ready for commitment and so are you. You've been through similar experiences, broken hearts, maybe struggles, but the connection coming towards you is very, it's very abundant. It's very, um, it, it you know, it's stability. This person is coming to, towards you very on point, having their finances in a row, able to offer you long term. All right. Let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.